Hi guys, welcome back to The Contented Plant. Today we are going to do a tour of all the house plants that I have in my home. My collection is a little bit small compared to most plant collectors, but I am working on it. I have a very careful mix of trying to be kind of minimalist in my decor, but I also really, really love houseplants. And if you guys are on this channel, that means you also love houseplants and you know how absolutely addicting they can get. So I am quickly multiplying my plant collection and I feel like in another year I'll need to do an update and my house will probably just be exploded full of house plants. But for now, we're just gonna go through the ones that I do have. So stay tuned and I will show you all of my beautiful babies. We're gonna start in my little boy's room. He has this Raphidophora tetrasperma that lives right next to his fish tank. He has named this plant Tractor. I've had it for a couple years. I just have it on a bamboo stake. It's growing and putting out these brand new leaves with these cute little fenestrations. I love this plant and it's very happy next to the fish tank. In my daughter's room, we have the TikTok famous plant named Rosie. This little golden pothos went viral on TikTok when I bought it and did a little video of it. She picked it out at the plant store and she just loves this little golden pothos. It is in the basement, but I have these really nice big windows so it gets a lot of light during the day and it is growing away. Next up is my little baby tears plant. This one just lives in the bathroom right on top of the toilet there. It does really well in here. It gets quite a bit of bright indirect light throughout the day. It is just exploding in growth. Honestly, I'm probably going to have to convert it to a hanging pot soon because it's really just hanging over the toilet and growing every which way. In my bedroom, I have this Philodendron Brazil. I love this plant. I've had it for a little while now. It is in a hanging basket and eventually I will hang it up because it is starting to trail over the side of the pot, but I just love the colors on these leaves. They are so beautiful with that splash of variegation running down the center. Next to my staircase, my peace lily just hangs out here. It's doing really well in this spot. I have had it close to windows before, but that kind of burned its leaves. So I moved it over by the staircase and it has just exploded and put out lots of new leaves and growth for me. So I think I will leave it here. It seems pretty happy. I have a little tiny succulent window in my laundry room. This is actually to protect them because otherwise I will overwater them if they're close to me. I have this cute little jade plant that I've grown from a cutting and this tiny little snake plant that I just love so much. It's putting out new little leaves and it's really happy. Next to my kitchen window lives my variegated umbrella tree and my little peperomia plant. The peperomia plant desperately needs to be repotted, but it still continues to put out lots of new growth. The umbrella tree is very happy next to the kitchen window. It gets lots of bright light throughout the day, and I just love this pretty little hobnail pot. These golden pothos help fill up this dark corner that I have in my house. Honestly, I was not sure they would even grow there at all because they get very little light, but they have trailed down and exceeded my expectations. I really love these plants up in this corner. In my dining room, I have my Marble Queen pothos on the table and my Tradescantia zebrina in the back there. The Marble Queen Pothos gets lots of bright indirect light throughout the day. She has just put on tons and tons of new leaves. My favorite leaves are these little half moons. I think they are so cute and I always get excited when I see more of those. All around, this plant is super happy and really loves this bright spot. My Tradescantia zebrina just kind of lives in the corner of the dining room here. I had it in a different corner where it got a lot more light and it was much happier, but she is still surviving and thriving over in this corner, putting out that beautiful purple color. And she just continues to trail down. At this point, she's very close to touching the floor, so I'm gonna have to get my pruning shears out. Next, I have my neon pothos that sits on my coffee table in the living room. 
This little pothos plant is so happy. It just continues to put out these beautiful bright neon leaves. I have really been enjoying summertime with my plants because they have all been exploding in growth. It's going to want to trail soon as well and I am going to have to repot it because I noticed roots coming out the bottom. In my far corner of the living room I have these little plants that live by the window. First up is my string of hearts. I haven't had this one very long. It is really exploding and trailing really far down. I'm going to start to chop it up and propagate it soon probably about to there so I can make a nice full plant. This is really easy to propagate, so I will be potting more back in there. Next up is my fiddle leaf fig tree. This tree has done so well for me. It's very, very happy. It's got two new leaves coming out the top as well as a third. I just noticed that the other day and I'm really excited about it. I have it sitting on my fireplace hearth. Again, it gets lots of really good filtered light throughout the day. I haven't tried to move it anywhere else because I have heard that if you move a fiddle leaf fig, they get mad at you and they start dropping leaves. So for now, it's going to stay there. In the corner of my living room here, I have these two little plants. My croton I've had for about six months and it's put on lots of new leaves since then. This beautiful green one. I also just really love this pink color on the bottom. A lot of people don't like these plants, but I think it's a really cute little plant and it seems pretty happy in my house. I actually noticed it desperately needs to be repotted, so that is on my to-do list. Last but definitely not least, I have my Pothos Enjoy that I grew from cuttings. This is definitely on my top list of plants that I have here. It's just one of my favorites. I love this plant. It is so happy. I did notice this also needs to be repotted, so I'll be getting my potting soil out soon, but this has just exploded. It's put out a ton of new leaves lately, so I'm excited to move it up to a bigger pot and see how it does. And that's it. That is all of my house plants that I currently have. However, I have plans to add many more into my collection very soon. Let me know what kind of plants you guys have and if you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we will see you next time at the Contented Plant. Bye-bye.